Another video that I saw here recently was uh, Alex Jones. It says, uh, what was the name of the video here? I have it. Um, Pope Francis gets owned by Alex Jones. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, Alex Jones is a servant of the Vatican. And, uh, but just, listen to what he says here about having respect for a Jesuit and a member of the CIA. Retired, of course. Check this out. But now, oh, we have the Jesuit Pope. And I'm no Catholic, but I've read a lot of history. You're not supposed to have anybody in the Society of Jesus in a high-level position in the Catholic Church. It was a big deal 100 years ago when they started having cardinals that were Jesuits. There's the folks like Ray McGovern, formerly with the CIA, that exposes the tyranny as super accurate. He's a Jesuit, nice guy, I respect him. But, I mean, you're not supposed to have Jesuits running the Catholic Church, are you? I mean, I'm just giving you the edicts of all the past popes. I found that's interesting. He's like just kind of going off on the Jesuits there, and then all of a sudden he just sees him stop, and he just goes, of course you have Ray McGovern, you know, and, and he's a Jesuit. He exposes tyranny and everything, and I, I respect him. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Let me just show you this Ray McGovern guy here real quickly if you're not familiar with who he is. This was a broadcast years ago. Um, this is when I was I was watching Alex Jones a lot back uh, in this time period here. Um, I think it was about 2010, I think is when it was. And I was really starting to wake up to his agenda. And this was one of the ones that started to wake me up here because I you hear Ray McGovern say something and I kind of went, uh-oh, and I didn't know he was a Jesuit at this point in time. I just thought he was a retired CIA. Listen to this. Chili, we're going to talk about all of that with Ray McGovern uh, today. Ray, great to have you on with us. Thanks, Alex. Oh, and I probably should introduce you. Uh, you're a former uh, military man uh, from the uh, Vietnam era, and then, of course, you were the uh, top presidential briefer to Ronald Reagan, George Herbert Walker Bush, and you've been a big critic of the lies about WMDs and famously confronted uh, Rumsfeld, he tried to lie and say that he hadn't said that, and uh, you certainly skewered him there, uh, and, and you've done so much more. But uh, thank you for coming on with us. Uh, let's briefly get into the situation in Egypt. Well, Alex, uh, there's an elephant in that living room, and the name of the elephant is Israel. And surprise, surprise, no one in this country is talking about it. Hmm. And I thought... What in the world? Why are you bringing Israel into this whole thing? And, of course, you know, he'll go on to say in other videos, I've seen some of that other Jesuits' other videos, he'll talk about, you know, well, I don't hate the Jewish people and I'm not anti-Semitic. I'm just not for the nation of Israel, you know, and everything. And, of course, if you understand Roman Catholic teaching, which I've been debunking now for quite some time, um, they are, they believe in replacement theology, that the church has replaced Israel. And they don't mean the body of Christ, by the way. They mean their church, the Catholic Church, okay? And so that's why they have the right to, you know, control nations politically. But uh, he goes on to say something here um, in this uh, Nat Summit or whatever. Oh, and by the way, that clip there, I don't know if you could see it. It said about two, it was in February of 2011. So it wasn't 2010, it was 2011. But I do remember seeing that one back when I used to actually listen, in, listen to Alex Jones. But... Um, Here's another little summit thing that this Ray McGovern guy was part of. And pay close attention to what he says about God. Okay? Watch this. And there's nothing in the Hebrew or the Christian scriptures that urges us to use the imperative, the imperative voice in addressing God. You know, it seems to me that She's very offended when we use the uh, uh, imperative mood. I think it's idolatry. And so let's, let's do it this way. God bless Palestine. God bless Israel. God bless the rest of the world. No exceptions. And then God bless us too. Thanks. Okay, so if you just realize what he just said there, and when he said about the imperative, okay, he means what he's saying by that is that you're not supposed to give God a command. That's what an imperative is. So you say, hey, 
you bless me or you bless so-and-so. But see, this is the mind of a Jesuit right here. This is perfect example of what a Jesuit does. Okay? They say, let's not say, let's not command God to bless so-and-so. Then he flips right around and he says, God bless so-and-so. Classic Jesuit double think. Don't say there's no command in the Greek or the Hebrew or the English scriptures or anywhere that, that we're supposed to command God to bless certain people. So having said that, let's bless, let's say God bless so-and-so. Classic Jesuitical double think. But did you notice also what he said there? She doesn't like it. So Ray McGovern's God is a woman, apparently. Or, you know, probably the occultic antichrist god, the god of the occult that has represented very well by the hexagram, the uh, upward pointing triangle, the downward pointing triangle, the six-pointed star that you see on the, on the flag of the nation of Israel. And I did a study on that. Um, people that are getting ready for the antichrist, doesn't matter what culture or what religion, they all are flying that or displaying that six-pointed star, the hexagram. And the six-pointed star represents the joining of male and female, which can be a sex symbol, but it can also be, when you're half man, half woman, what are you? A sodomite. <laughs> you know, you're a man, but you act like a woman, or you're a woman and you act like a man. Sodomy. And see, there are people within the occult, and they say, well, I believe that God is both male and female. Well, there God is. Is that what Ray McGovern is, you know, referring to there? Weird, weird. And again, you know, oh, I respect the guy, Alex Jones says. But Alex Jones is a Christian. Oh, he's a fine Christian that uses profanity and flies off the handle and is a maniac, a raving maniac. But he's a fine Christian, you know, because he says he's a Christian. You know. Sure, yeah. But uh, I'm going to include a little video here in the end of this. Uh, I've been saving this clip. I wasn't sure how I was going to use it, but I just need to get this thing out. So um, a little over a year ago, my wife and I decided to spend an evening um, watching our all of our InfoWars videos in a very unique way. So I'm going to just end the video here showing you the video clip of how we watched all of our InfoWars videos within just a few minutes. Enjoy. I have one more thing to do here with this Alex Jones garbage. I don't want any of this stuff in my collection. Into the flames. See, so you're burning all of it? Absolutely. Couldn't you sell it on eBay? No. Why bother selling it? Well, it'll just mess up somebody else. Some old uh, VHS tapes. Burn it. I never played so good. I recommend you do the same to your Alex Jones information. Burn it before he burns you.